in the tumultuous era of the American Revolutionary War, Charles Watson Wentworth, the second Marquess of Rockingham, emerged as a significant figure in British politics. As Prime Minister of Great Britain during two crucial periods of the conflict, Rockingham's leadership and policies played a pivotal role in shaping Britain's approach to the rebellion in its American colonies. His tenure witnessed both attempts at reconciliation and the escalation of hostilities, reflecting the complexities of British governance and the challenges of managing imperial crises. 1. Early Life and Political Career Born in 1730 into a wealthy and influential family, Charles Watson Wentworth inherited the title of Marquess of Rockingham in 1750. He entered politics as a member of the Whig Party and rose through the ranks, serving in various government positions before becoming Prime Minister in 1765. 2. First Premiership and Reconciliation Efforts Rockingham's first premiership coincided with the early stages of the American Revolutionary War. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, he pursued a policy of conciliation and sought to address the grievances of the American colonies. His government repealed the Stamp Act of 1765 and attempted to ease tensions through diplomatic channels. However, these efforts were met with mixed success as the conflict continued to escalate. 3. Opposition to coercive measures Despite his commitment to reconciliation, Rockingham opposed the adoption of coercive measures against the American colonies. He vehemently opposed the intolerable acts imposed by Parliament in response to the Boston Tea Party, arguing that punitive measures would only exacerbate tensions and alienate colonial sympathizers. His principled stance earned him support among those advocating for a peaceful resolution to the crisis. 4. Return to office and final premiership Following a period of political instability, Rockingham returned to power in wedding 782 for a second premiership. His government faced the daunting task of managing the war and addressing the growing discontent both at home and abroad. Rockingham sought to pursue a negotiated settlement with the American colonies, recognizing the futility of continued military engagement. However, his untimely death in July 1782 cut short his second premiership, leaving his vision for peace unrealized. 5. Legacy and Historical Assessment Charles Watson Wentworth, second Marquess of Rockingham, is remembered as a statesman who advocated for reconciliation and sought to address the grievances of the American colonies through peaceful means. His commitment to parliamentary reform and his opposition to coercive measures endeared him to proponents of liberty and constitutional government. While his efforts ultimately fell short of resolving the conflict, Rockingham's legacy endures as a symbol of principled leadership in a time of crisis. Conclusion In the crucible of the American Revolutionary War, Charles Watson Wentworth, 2nd Marquess of Rockingham, stood as a beacon of moderation and conciliation amidst the storm of conflict. His tenure as Prime Minister